Who is this handsome fellow? This is Nighthawk. Come Looks like a hunk to me. Alpha, do you he does look pretty hunky. Oh, you're talking about the guy on screen. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not me. Man, <laughs> I've been trying I'm at point K-12. Need info on my extraction. Guess there's no keeping down the Grim Reaper, huh? My extraction point. Relax, Mr. Reaper. I'm headed toward the front gate of RPD. Pick you up there. Got Nothing grim about that body. <laughs> hey, everybody! I'm I'm your pal C. Jacobs, and I'm also a part of this Let's Play. You may remember me from my cameo in that one episode. I think you were in two episodes, actually. Maybe. I don't remember. It's been a long time since we recorded that stuff. You're not wrong. It has been a while. Welcome, everybody, to the special mode. We're gonna stab a man in the chest. But oh, I want yeah. that knife back, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take <laughs> that back from him. But you're out of ammo now. Oh, it's fine. I've got a million guns, because we're playing as Hunk. That is true. You do look pretty armed to the teeth. It's but, true. Uh, do you actually get ammo pickups in this mode? Uh, nobody starts with a couple of gunpowders and stuff, so you can craft ammo for whichever weapons you want. Like, he, he starts with two normal ones and two large ones, so you can you can make whatever combo you want to. You can oh, mix okay. and match. Yeah, I like shotguns in video games, as some of you may know. So, I I like shotguns in video games. Surprised you didn't get dogged there. You know what? I had to practice this a lot <laughs> to get the run that you're seeing here, and poor Hunk will be full of bite marks by the time this is over anyway. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but there are a couple of zombies in our way. I only see one. Okay, well, there's going to be a couple more in a few seconds, like maybe this pack of wild, angry dogs about to eat my jugular. Too many dogs. I guess... I guess we should explain what this mode actually is. Yeah, I was about to say, why don't you tell us a little more about what we're doing here? Yeah. So when you beat the game, when you beat Resident Evil 2 Remake, you unlock a number of alternate game modes, both of which we will be seeing. Uh, there's another one in the next video. But the first you unlock lets you play as Hunk in a little time trial survival mode kind of thing, where we have to get to the front entrance of the RPD, and there's bad news. There's zombies everywhere, and a whole bunch of other things that are very eager to have poor Hunk for breakfast. Like this G over here. Yeah, and that one over there. Oh, two Gs. Oh, there's two. I know. G, 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 baby, baby, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm not ready for two, G, two, uh, two Gs wild ride yet. <laughs> Neither am I. That's why I didn't bother with them. <laughs> <laughs> Two G's, one hunk. So I watched a I watched a speed run of this mode to prepare myself and figure out how to dodge all the zombies and stuff. And uh, the the record for this is like I think like five minutes, and Christ. it takes me ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know how you can like. You can cut time real fast. It, it, it's it's kind of nuts. Like, just cutting off a second here and there really adds up. All right, how about this room full of zombies? Fuck these guys. Yeah, especially the ones that kind of look like they didn't seem to mind the grenade. Yeah, they, <laughs> so, they're blind. The RPD hires all kinds to be police officers, even people that can't see. Something, something, affirmative action. Oh, hi, liquor. Yep, I'm just going to say fuck that to that guy. I don't even want to deal with him. Reasonable. So I, I suppose we should also mention that uh, the original RE2 did also had hunk mode as an unlockable. Yes, it, it had both of the alternate modes that, that we are going to be seeing. And uh, they, they were a little different, but they were basically the same principle. Like, beat the game real fast. Here's a giant swarm of enemies. Good luck cutting through them. Yeah, it's kind of an arcadey uh, time travel mode. Yeah, that that's a good way to describe it. And and there's no like leaderboards or anything like that for it, but it's it does tell you when you it does tell you your time at the end, and it keeps track of it on the menu. So like, you can improve your time and like try to kill the least amount of zombies possible. Which is I'm, what I tried to do, because there's so many in this room! Too many. 
But also, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. The uh, the, the jiggly walkie on Hunk's back is so hypnotic. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of jiggling pouches on him. Also, I shot that liquor and it didn't fall down from the ceiling and now everything's gone to shit. Man, you got licked. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting I'm there I'm gonna take a few more licks before this is over too. <laughs> but the good news is we're we're out of the parking garage, we're out of the basement, so things can't possibly get any worse from here. No, no. How could they? Uh knock knock! Open up the door, it's real! <laughs> <laughs> well this is bad news. Yep, I don't like having to do that, but yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, you so, have recovery items. Yes, so Hunk starts off with a, a, a bevy of healing items, which which they laid out in a pretty smart way. He he has no spare herbs, so you can't make any new healing items, but he has enough for two full heals, one of which gives you armor, and then another herb that just gives you armor without healing you. So, like, you, it's like a tactical decision where you can decide, like, when you want to give yourself the protection, which is always, but we all have to make sacrifices in life. So, I noticed that the, uh, the way to the west hallway, I think it's the west hallway, was, like, completely boarded up, or, you know. Yep. Uh, the, the, the breaker thing hasn't opened yet, so does this mean this is before the main story? I, I have no idea. Oof. I, you, you're gonna notice though that we are on a little sightseeing tour. We have to. They put <laughs> like cardboard boxes and potted plants and Mr. X's in, in like pretty much every conceivable location to make you run the entire circuit of this video game. <laughs> it's kind of fucking crazy. Like, if you. If you did, if if you've learned one thing from watching this Let's Play, I hope it is that these people know how to make an intricately connected world. Because look at this crap, we're going Holy everywhere. Jesus, the Ivies too. I forgot about them. <laughs> oh, it's so fucked up that they put two of them there, like so that you have to worry about both of them. For the record, Mr. X is still behind us. He's he's still following me. Oh no, the <laughs> stairs. I know. <laughs> oh, geez, the stairs over on the right up. are blocked too. <laughs> like there's there's just cardboard boxes in the way. Oh no! Oh no! Not the dog. Oh, thankfully he's preoccupied with his dinner, so he ignores you. Okay, that's good. Yeah. However, this is some bullshit right here. There are one, two, three, eight, twenty-five, like seventy-eight zombies in this hallway. <laughs> Oh my god. And unfortunately that, that one grenade did not do jack shit against the against most oh, of them because come on. <laughs> Wow uh, it it just keeps getting worse. It just it's not gonna get any better from here. Just you wait. The final fuck you is just around the corner, really. And I mean that literally, because as soon as we come out here, hey look, there's a G up here! Oh boy! Hi G <sighs> I was very lucky to not get grabbed there. Uh yeah, wow. I, I don't even know where that dog came from. I, I think the G might have birthed the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two more liquors just because fuck you. <laughs> Hunk is such a badass. Look at him surviving all this nonsense. And of course, the, the front door was boarded up. So so the only way out of here is the way that, that Leon came in in the Let's Play. We, we literally have to run the entire circuit to the front door. It couldn't be easy, could it? Nope. Well, good news, they're not gonna make it easy. <laughs> Look at all this fucking bullshit! Great! <laughs> Jesus, holy shit. Oh, I love this, I love this dumbass game mode. I love it so much. <laughs> also, it is, it is how I learned that if you shoot a, if you escape a grab with a grenade, you can shoot the grenade in the zombie's mouth to blow it up. Yeah, right, but I, it should still only affect the one zombie, I think. Yeah, I, I did not know that. I, I did it by accident with, <laughs> in that hallway earlier, and I was like, oh, that's really useful. And Grody. <laughs> I think I might have done that in the LP at one point. Yeah, there's a trophy for it. Damn. I had no idea. You learn something new every day, I guess. 
Uh, also, by the way, you may hear something a little bit familiar behind me. Because if I happen to turn around, maybe you'll see that a certain somebody has decided to follow me out. <laughs> He's back there. You can hear him. Ooh, the door's open. Huh. Fuck you! <laughs> I'm out of here! What a nightmare. Why'd you come back? I wanted to meet the Grim Reaper. Sorry, it's only me. <laughs> you want to know how far I got? How far did you get? The IVs. <laughs> yeah, that's some bullshit. <laughs> but but the the funny thing is, you might think that the that hallway with the two IVs couldn't get any more bullshit. But to that end, I have to ask, what if you didn't have any guns? <laughs>